please welcome Dave Nelson. You didn't really expect a social media guy just to saunter onto the stage, did you? <laughs> We're going to talk about social media for business. Actually, when you heard the word social media, you probably thought, oh, that's the kids on Facebook. Maybe some of you are even on Facebook. I'm going to talk about social media for business. You probably thought, oh, that's great if you're connecting with consumers. I spend most of my time working with businesses B2B, business to business, but we're not even going to talk about that today. How about a different idea? How about using these fabulous communication technologies internally inside our companies? Let's get social media inside business. We'll start by looking at Twitter. I want to show you something amazing you can do on Twitter, but this is true of many social media services. The internet knows where you are. We know where you are when you tweet. And yet they were able to use Twitter to put together their knowledge into a greater whole, incredibly quickly, incredibly accurately. And here's why I wanted to start with this example. Bad news, this is your company. This is your organization. It's filled with blind men, I say metaphorically. So, why not use Twitter to accelerate your business, communication among employees? Well, that would be stupid because everybody could see it. But what if there was a service that you could do this and it was completely private and closed to your company? And that service is called Yammer. It All right, on we go. Let's look at a specific example of how Salesforce.com does product planning in this social media environment. So Salesforce.com has this part of their website which they call the Idea Exchange. You see the tab right there? It's very prominently featured right on their website. And what they allow their users to do is in fact post ideas, vote on those ideas, comment on the ideas, and as you can see right here, state and country should be pick lists. Apparently not a capability within Salesforce.com. Somebody suggested it. 20,000 people have voted. And ultimately, the team reviews these and makes selections for new product features. So when I talk about a dialogue in product planning, that's a very specific example of how you can do it. You can engage your entire community in helping guide product direction. Into. By the way, this is totally different than going to Google and doing a search. You go to Google and search, this National Jewelers thing is on page 800. I'm never going to find it, right? This is as it happens on Twitter, press releases, blogs, websites. Google looks at a lot of stuff for us, and they're going to tell us when they spot things that are relevant to us, because we told them what's relevant. So I, I leave you with this thought. You have a limited number of people in your company that decide what products and services to offer and how to evolve them. Why not tap into the incredible knowledge base of your customers, pull them into your company. This is suggestion box meets focus group meets brainstorming meets democracy. It's unbelievable. And by the way, you can buy this service and have it on your website tomorrow. Go to either UserVoice.com or Salesforce.com. So those are just some of the tools that allow us to accelerate our information sharing and information integration. Thank you. Thank you, Dave.